Hi, I'd like to show you how you can upload new data to the Force24 system. Really easy, first of all you need to click on the data upload page. This will open this page here, where I can see all of my existing data upload jobs. On this page we'll be able to see the name of the file, we'll be able to see the number of contacts, the job ID, the number of error records and the unique import key. For every new contact that gets loaded into the system, we apply a unique import key so that we can find them later on and put them in marketing lists. If my job is completed without any errors, I'll get a green icon like this. If my job is completed with errors, I'll get an orange or amber icon like this. I'm able to download the error records and it will show me which records, 29 out of 39,000 in this instance, which error records caused the problem and what the reason was. Okay, so how do we start? Well, first things first, I click the plus button here and it allows me to select an, a .xlsx file. That is the latest version of Microsoft Excel files. You cannot upload CSVs, you must save CSVs as a .xlsx file first. So I select my .xlsx file and I click open or I can drag it and drop it onto the target. And what will happen is the first job, the system will try and read the column headings in your file and try and match it to a previous instance of where you've uploaded that a spreadsheet similar. And so this warning comes up to say that we try to automatically map columns found in the file for you. Please check that everything is okay. So we've mapped company name in the file to company name in the Force24 system. If I don't believe that's correct, I can alter that by selecting a different option. Or I could select to do not map this file. Sometimes we upload an XLS file which has got lots of information in it and we just don't need it. All we need is the core contact information. If, there's any info if there are any fields that I do not need to map, I simply click do not map. Okay. I go through and I map my fields accordingly. Okay. Now then, what you find is Sometimes you start to get data from the same location as I have in this instance. So when I go and I build some, when I build a, a map like this, I can click this create and upload, which means that if I come back with the same spreadsheet later on with different contacts, I don't have to remap, I don't have to run through this process of mapping everything. I can just select the map from my drop down list and then it will automatically apply the values. Now, this is what we call an MP. MKTG showcase data map. So if I select that, you notice here these are unmapped fields. If I select that map, the system remembers where to map those fields to. Okay, so I can at this point select a marketing list for my new contacts to be added to, or I can leave it blank and I can use the import key that I showed you just a moment ago to find them in a second. If I select yes to the new import new contacts and update existing contacts, that will allow any existing contacts that are within the Force24 system that are included in this spreadsheet to be updated with the new information. Or if I, and any new contacts added as net new. If I click no, the system will ignore existing contacts and not update them with this information, just simply create new contacts. Since duplicates are not allowed within the system, it won't allow duplicates to exist. Okay, I'm now ready, I can click upload. If I've had to change the data map, I can overwrite and upload the data map settings, or I can create a new data map using the create and upload. I'm happy with my data map settings, so I'm just gonna use the upload function. Success, the data is now being uploaded. The system has now placed the data into a queue and, is, and it's preliminary provided me the import key. I can cancel the job or I can let it roll. When we upload data into the Force24 system, what it's doing is it's checking to see whether the contacts that you've actually provided firstly exist, 
Then it's checking the contacts to ensure that they do not exist on any of our suppression lists and it's a safe contact to import. So when we import them, we're also doing a DNS lookup. We're checking to see whether the email address uh, has, a correct, has the correct DNS settings applied to the top level domain. We're basically making sure that your mailing profile is, remains as, uh, uh, as optimal position as possible. If I wish, I can hit refresh and I can see that's now completed. I can see that that file had 358 live contacts. The job ID was 11491. I can now see the contacts that have been uploaded by clicking the import key here. Now, don't worry if when I first click the import key, zero contacts are found because the system, you're waiting for the system to update the last contact search refresh date, which is now passed, which is excellent. 358 contacts are now upload. If you arrive here and it says zero, simply give it a moment or so, let it update, click filter again a couple of times, and there your contacts will be. <coughs> I'd like to add these contacts now to a marketing list by using the add to marketing list function at the bottom of the results. I can either type in the name of a new marketing list or I can select the name of an existing marketing list. Whichever I wish to do. I'm gonna create a new list. To move the contacts from here into the list, simply click the auto distribute function and click confirm. Marketing list creation has now been completed. If I now come to the Your Data page, you'll see that my marketing list has been created. The background processing is designed to handle hundreds and hundreds of thousands of contacts. What that means is the 300 or so contacts that we've just put into the system now have gone into a queue. That queue is now going to process each of those contacts and place them in this list. So if you want to keep an eye on progress, you can either click the Task Manager option at the top here, which will show you how that job is progressing, or you can leave it and just hit refresh and you'll start to see the numbers increasing. In this instance, not yet. Just take a moment or so. If you have any problems or any questions with how to use the data upload process, please contact your account manager.